The serial killer known as the Grim Sleeper died in prison over the weekend. Lonnie Franklin Jr. was convicted of murdering 10 women, but suspected of killing so many more. NBC4's I-Team reporter Eric Leonard joins us now with more on really the lingering mysteries in this case. Eric. Well, Colleen, you'll remember that photographs of dozens and dozens of women were found when police searched Lonnie Franklin's home. And of course, years later, the police have never been able to identify or find many of those women, so they may never know the answer to what happened to them. Franklin died on what was California's death row at San Quentin State Prison, cause unknown, though there were no signs of trauma. With a moratorium on executions in California, it was unclear if the death sentence would ever have been carried out. It's a relief to know that he's, that he's gone and that the victims' families that are still alive were able to see an end to that. Prosecutor Beth Silverman tried the case against Franklin. She says she thinks it's unlikely he would ever reveal more information about how many other women he killed or what he did with their bodies. And I'm fairly certain that Lonnie Franklin was going to take to the grave uh, all of the information regarding the unprosecuted, unknown victims that we were never able to put together. The series of murders began in the 1980s. The last confirmed case was in 2007. Franklin wasn't detected by police until DNA technology allowed a database search for relatives of the killer. Franklin was arrested in 2010. Police found photos and videos of 180 women inside his home. Most of those women have been identified, but dozens of them remain mysteries to this day. So Franklin's case was the first solved in L.A. County using familial DNA test techniques. Although the coroner or the uh, State Department of Corrections says there was no obvious trauma, an autopsy is being done. Incidentally, prison officials tell us there are no known cases of coronavirus at the prison San Quentin where uh, Lonnie Franklin died. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you.